Have you ever used Mint by Michelle decoupage papers? They're awesome. We've prepared a project to take you step by step through the basics of using Mint by Michelle decoupage papers. Our project is a really simple tray. You could also use it just as a piece of artwork to hang on the wall. Your kit will include a beautifully handcrafted wood tray and a sample of fusion casement paint. I'm going to be applying two coats of casement paint in the center part of my tray. I'm base coating with white because the Mint by Michelle papers have beautiful vibrant colors. The white base coat allows the vibrancy of the colors to come through. If you applied the decoupage paper over a dark background, it would kind of mute down those colors quite a bit. Get your first coat on and take sandpaper and make sure you sand your edges. When you do a, a coat of paint over your um, over raw wood, it'll lift the grain a little bit. So this just helps to smooth it down. And you can give it two coats, whatever you need to get appropriate coverage. These are not just tissue paper. They are kind of thicker than tissue paper. So what you're gonna do is, um, you're gonna position this. And trim off any excess so that it fits between those two end pieces. If you have overhang on the outside edges, we'll take care of that later. Today I'm using Fusion Decoupage and Transfer Gel. It's a thicker medium. Your kit includes enough to finish this project. And I want to start applying it at the end of my board. I'm applying it in a little bit of a thicker coat any excess will be squeegeed out later with a credit card. Then position your paper in place, smooth it out, and with that credit card, I'm applying a gentle, even pressure to work out any wrinkles or bubbles. I am using my credit card to get all of the excess. To get that excess decoupage and transfer gel off of there. And I'm just working from the top down. If you need to, lift that paper up and check to see that you have good adhesion work out any big bubbles and where you need to you can apply more transfer gel and work your way down this board if this were just regular tissue paper i wouldn't be able to do that because once that tissue paper gets wet it would tear so i'm applying a firm and gentle pressure and i am Continuing now down my tray, gently removing the excess decoupage medium and working out those wrinkles and bubbles as I work my way down the tray. Until I'm complete, I got my eyes on you. Lift your paper as you work down the board and check for any areas where you may have missed some of the decoupage and transfer gel and then move on to another section apply the gel lay the paper back and work the bubbles and wrinkles out with the credit card when i scrape along the edge i should have some excess that comes off on my credit card that's how i know i have enough decoupage and transfer gel Take was not yours If you 
Just let that paper fold back and then draw that excess off of there. Where you have excess paper hanging off of the edge of your board, we'll take a bit of sandpaper and then sand at about a 45 degree angle along the edge. That will sand away that little bit of excess and you can pull it right off. It gives you a nice clean edge. Remember that decoupage is an imperfect technique. We are working with a water-based medium and paper. You may get a bit of bubbling or some wrinkles, but as your project dries, those wrinkles and bubbles will flatten right down pretty significantly. When your decoupage is dry, you'll go ahead and finish painting the rest of your board. I had applied a base coat that was similar in color to the metallic paint that I'm using. Once this is completely dry, you could tape this off if you need to, or you could take a brush like this and really like edge that. Creates a beautiful little sharp edge. This kit includes a sample size, which is enough paint and a coordinating color to finish off your project. Remember that it's always good practice to paint the backs of your projects as well. It can prevent warping and gives you a nice professional finish. I'm going to show you a few different ways to finish your project. Make sure that it is completely dry. Let it dry for 24 to 48 hours. With the first method, I can apply a clear polycrylic sealer over my entire piece. I would apply very, very thin coats to minimize the reactivation of the decoupage gel that's underneath. With this method, you may find that the decoupage gel will reactivate a bit and you'll get minor bubbling and wrinkles, but it'll all flatten down as it dries. If you want to prevent that reactivation of the decoupage gel, you can spray your project with spray urethane or an oil-based varnish of some type. Give it a couple of very, very light coats and let it dry completely. Then you can go ahead and apply a few coats of your polycrylic sealer. If you want to apply the handles to use this project as a tray, Measure for the placement of the handles and then mark the openings with an awl or with a pencil. Pre-drill the holes for the screws. Attach the handle with the screws. Your kit also includes coordinating handles and screws to finish off your project. If you want to try your hand at Mint by Michelle Decoupage Papers, we've prepared a really awesome kit for you that's available on our website. Or you can choose one of our many other options. They're available in two sizes, so you can use them for furniture or any small projects. Find everything you need at our brick and mortar shop in Medina, New York, or online at ellenjgoods.com. You'll find the links for everything I used in the description box below. 
If you like our projects and want to see more, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, or like this post.